Historically, not a huge amount has been expected of first year pros, but with young riders having more and more success over the last two or three years, it seems that age is no longer a barrier to huge wins. Remco Evenepoel, Joao Almeida and Lorena Uives are amongst a host of riders doing unbelievable things in their first year pro. So who should we be looking out for this year? Here are 12 Neo pros that may well show strength beyond their years in 2021. Starting with Tom Pidcock. Now, I was going to say that Tom is quite old to be making his debut as a fully fledged World Tour pro, but I've just looked him up and he's only 21. I mean, it feels like he's been around for a very long time already, and there's no doubt he could have signed for a World Tour team far earlier. But he decided to take his time in that regard whilst combining the disciplines of road, cyclocross, and mountain biking. And it's fair to say he has already been quite successful in all three. Three stage wins and the general classification at the Baby Giro last year. Winner of the Under-23 and Junior Paris-Roubaix. Junior World Time Trial Champion, Under-23 World Champion in cross-country mountain biking. Multiple time World Champion in cyclocross. And now starting to push Van der Poel and Van Aert in the elite ranks. Pidcock will continue to combine those multiple disciplines with Team Ineos, with whom he'll spend at least the next three seasons. Now, it remains to be seen what his speciality will be on the road, but at this point, it seems like it could be anything. What is sure is that he doesn't lack confidence. Understandably so, or talent actually, so don't be surprised to see him pull off a big win in 2021. Team DSM, formerly Team Sunweb, have signed two riders straight out of the junior ranks. Now, the first of those is the American Megan Jastrab. The 18-year-old was US and world champion as a first-year junior in 2019, when she also took some big wins in European one-day and stage races. 2020 was a bit of a write-off for her due to you-know-what, but all being well, she'll be focusing not only on the road this year with her new team, but also on some of the track endurance events at the Tokyo Olympics. The other rider they've signed from the junior ranks is the German sensation Marco Brenner. Skipping the under-23 ranks is becoming more and more normal, and Brenner was actually signed by the team midway through last year, when he was still just 17 years of age. Unlike Jastrab, Brenner did compete a fair amount this last year as a junior, taking eight wins in total, including winning his time trial and road race national championships for the second year in succession. Eight wins in a season that was drastically reduced due to COVID is mightily impressive, but the previous year, he'd won 20. Now, considering he's not a sprinter, that is even more impressive. So this year will no doubt be about development and learning, but I would not be at all surprised to see Marco pull out an impressive GC result in a short stage race. Another 18-year-old on our list is Shirin Van Anroy, who is also yet another rider mixing up disciplines with road, cyclocross and um, triathlon. The Dutch woman was a stagiaire for Trek Segafredo at the end of last year and now becomes a fully-fledged pro this season with that same team. Over the winter, she has been competing in cyclocross, although her season was disrupted when a disc rotor cut her arm, but she should be back for the World Championships, where last year she became the first ever junior women's world champion. Touted in Belgium as the next big thing, Sandres Vervloesem has competed in the under-23 category for the Sunweb Development Squad, but he'll turn pro this year with his home team, Lotto Soudal. Last year, he won the much-coveted Ronde de Lizard, adding his name to a list that includes Andrea Bagioli, Pavel Sivakov and the late Bjorg Lambrecht. Now, he looks set to be most at home when it comes to the mountains, but being Belgian, he's learned the ropes over the cobbles. And he's had good rides in both E3 and Ghent Welvergum in the junior and under-23 categories. At 22 years old, Harry Sweeney is almost the oldest rider on our list. The Australian started out as a triathlete four years ago before moving to Europe, living in Italy and then Spain and now in Belgium. At 75 kilograms, he's a guy for the classics and lead out trains, but that didn't stop him winning the tough Il Piccolo Lombardia last year, the Tour of Lombardy for young riders. He did that whilst riding for the Lotto Soudal development team, and so it was a natural decision to move up a level to their pro setup this year.
eight days older than Sweeney is Jordi Meus, who will be riding for Bora Hansgrohe this year. The Belgian is the latest sprinter to have developed through the SEG Academy, with wins at the Baby Giro and Belgian National Championships attracting the attention of the German World Tour squad. Now, it's likely that he will ply his trade in 2021 by acting as a lead-out man, but it surely won't be too long before he has opportunities to sprint for himself. Amongst the new recruits to SD Works, formerly Bulls Dolmans for this year, is Anna Shackley of Scotland. Now, a 19-year-old has a lot of experience and success on the boards, but not so much on the road. However, her performance at the World Championships last year in Italy certainly turned some heads, because it was she who was at the front of the chasing group behind Anna van der Breggen as the race reached its closing stages. Now, that chase was ultimately futile, of course, but nevertheless, the fact that Shackley was so strong, so late, showed what prospects she has on the road over the next few years. One man who had already shown his promise on the road is David Decker, who's graduated to Jumbo Visma for this season. Now, before lockdown last year, the then 22-year-old won two of his first three races, and in the other, the prestigious Le Samin, he placed third, beating the likes of Florian Seneschal and Giacomo Nizzolo. He is the son of Eric Decker, nicknamed Triple Decker after his three-stage wins at the 2000 Tour de France. So he's clearly got the genes and already the results, so I don't suppose it'll be too long before we see him at the head of affairs in the bigger cobbled classics. Juan Ayuso made the headlines last year when he penned a five-year deal with UAE Team Emirates. A lengthy deal for any rider, let alone one that, at the time, was only 17 years old. After that deal was signed, he won the time trial and road race at his national championships in Spain, and those were among a whopping 22 wins for the youngster in 2020. In his last two stage races of the season, not only did he win the overall, but also every single stage. Now, all of those did come in Spain, so he's a little untested against international competition, but there is no doubt that he is a super talent. Now, we're not going to get to see him race against the pros until slightly later this year, though, as he's spending the first part of the year with Colpac, which is a development team in Italy. Olav Koy will also wait a little while to make the step up to full-time pro. Uh, that step will come in July with Jumbo Visma, where he'll move up from their development team. Another sprinter, he's been notching up wins left, right and centre, including within the pro ranks. Last year, he won a stage at the Coppi e Bartoli stage race, beating the likes of Phil Bauhaus and Ethan Hayter in the sprint to the line. That was amongst seven wins in 2020 at UCI ranked events for the then 18-year-old. And the final rider on our list is Neve Bradbury, who just a month or so ago became the latest rider to be recruited to Canyon SRAM, having become the fifth winner of the Women's Swift Academy. The 18-year-old from Melbourne has been seriously impressive as a climber in local races over the last year or so, and obviously was seriously impressive on the indoor trainer against a massive competition in the Zwift Academy. We'll wait and see how she gets on in 2021. And with that, we wish all the youngsters on our list the very best of luck for this season. Let us know in the comments who you are most looking forward to seeing make their debut as a pro this year. I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.